We're going to restock a little bit and then we'll double mini claw machine and looking at the right side it didn't look like many items were missing so that told us that not many people were playing it the coin mech was actually not working we brought a replacement to fix it and of course we're plugging it in testing it to make sure it works before we actually install it because we've been there and done that before and wasted time so always check before you actually install it and unscrew and rescrew into the machine. So that's a friendly little tip there. But now we're going to collect from the cash side. We made $103 and the toy side on the right made $4.25. Pretty lousy. That's the worst it's ever done, but the coin mech was broken and unfortunately we don't have any more bill acceptors to put on the bottom of it. And now moving on to the star of this location, the coin pusher in total made $573.75 and now we're just organizing all of the bills on top. So right here I'm showing you guys a little tip. You fold it in half, then you fold it in half, then you fold it in half. So that's basically just to make the bill heavier and not loose. That way it actually falls down to the player. And it's also good to just give a variety in different dimensions, you know, with bills laying flat, bills folded. It's just more appealing with big bills, small bills, and everything just piled up on the edge. It looks very appealing. And if you guys have a coin pusher, a good tip is to make sure you layer it up with a lot of bills and make it a machine that you would want to actually sit and play and put your quarter into because that's how you're gonna get players. So we pile up everything on the edge. Even if we give away money, it all works out in the end. Obviously, we just told you guys how much this machine made. So it's okay to let people win ones, fives, tens, and twenties because it all basically will go back into your machine anyway. Way. And also we get a lot of comments when we mention in a video that the coin pusher was being shaken if we actually have it bolted down and we do but it still somehow gets shaken. I think the the screws are getting loose in the ground so we're gonna have to check that. But thank you guys so much for watching as always and we'll be back with another video coming tomorrow. Bye guys.